Man, guys, it's been a while. It's the Coaster Battle Man back at it with the top 10 reasons not to go to Six Flags Great America. And yeah, I did a top 10 reasons to go to Six Flags Great America, but never a not to go to. And why not do it right now? And I had some spare time today, so yeah, let's do this. So, number 10, Slowpokes, who asks too many questions and this is a big one for Six Flags Great America and for like basically any amusement park in general are those people in front of you in a line that just ask way too many questions to the employee this happens before you park your car because they're trying to ask where to park and all that and just really stupid stuff just ask guest services like come on it's really annoying and yeah moving on we have number nine lots of switchbacks and Six Flags Street America is like one of the kings of switchbacks like this amusement park as a whole has so many switchbacks in like basically every single line except for American Eagle Eagle and yeah it's really annoying when you're cramped in there in this big square of all these switchbacks and it's just really annoying and yeah these things if you don't like waiting lines with switchbacks then this might not be the place for you number eight bees and wasps and this is kind of my personal experience I don't know what it is about Six Flags Great America but there's always so many of these pests all over the place and probably because of the food stands or whatever or they met but, yeah, there's always, even in the early spring and late fall, there were tons of these pests all over the place. So, kind of annoying thing there. Number seven, not the best place for shade. In Six Flags Great America, I mean, the summers in Illinois, like northeastern Illinois, aren't that bad. But Six Flags Great America doesn't really have that many shaded areas. I mean, under some buildings, yes, I guess, but this place isn't the greatest in the world if you're trying to find, like, a real, like, big shaded area. And there are places that are better than it. So, moving on. Number six, we have this. This one stupid sign. They aren't the cleanest theme park in the world. And this is just one of the stupidest signs they have there. They say they're the cleanest theme park in the world when they're not. There are places that are cleaner than it. I've seen ce parks like Cedar Point, Kings Island, basically all the Cedar Fair parks I've been to are much, much cleaner than Six Flags Great America. But Six Flags Great America, it is a clean park compared to some. So, yeah, but they aren't the cleanest. Number five. The annoying employees encouraging you to take a photo, and this is one for a lot of amusement parks. And in front of the carousel, in the carousel plaza area here, there's always quite a few employees that are trying to encourage you to take a photo. They're like, can you take a photo? And it's really annoying, especially when you're like the first people in the park and you're trying to run to get to a ride which is going to happen next year with or this year with max force this summer so yeah moving on we have number four line jumpers and this is a six flags problem and this especially was at six flags over texas but i will get to that eventually in the future but line jumpers are annoying they cut the line just to join their group and it's really dumb and it's just really annoying when you're almost there and then there's an extra person that goes right in front of you. It's just really dumb. It's kind of like Super Mario jumping over the Koopa Troopas. So, um, moving on to number three, we have no 10 out of 10 roller coasters and Raging Bull and Goliath are the two best coasters currently at Six Flags Great America. But this year, Max Force will be coming out and it does have a lot of potential to be a 10 out of 10 coaster. But it could potentially not be that 10 out of 10 ride that Six Flags needs. But I still think it will be a great coaster. But 
in my opinion, there's no like elite 10 out of 10 ride at this park. So, yeah, moving on, we have number two, which is Fright Fest. And this is just personal, in my opinion. Like, Fright Fest is just flat out stupid. Double the lines, way too many of those scary freaks, and it's just really annoying. And, ha like, probably, like, over a third of the people are there just to see the stupid parade of the Fright Fest goons when the sun goes down. It's really annoying, and it's pretty stupid. And there's more traffic throughout the park as well during Fright Fest, and it's just very, very crowded, and it's just awful. But number one is the consistency of dealing with long lines, and this is a big one for me at Six Flags Street America being this my home park there always seems to be a line here always unless it rains in the morning then you're gonna have to deal with some crazy lines when you go to Six Flags Street America like if it was raining until like 1 p.m. there will be nobody in the park until like 3 and you'll be able to get in like every single coaster but when it, there isn't any rain, then this place is jam-packed, and there's ridiculous lines for, like, every single coaster except for, like, two or three. And, yeah, it's really annoying, and you can't really do anything about it unless you buy a flash pass, which those things are ridiculously expensive. Thank you guys so much for watching. I haven't been uploading that much. I've been really busy with school and a ton of different things. So, yeah, that is all for this video. Stay tuned for more. And going into the future, in the summer, I'm planning on making way more videos than I am right now throughout the rest of the school year. But once summer rolls around, aka June, there are going to be a lot more videos roller coaster related. And, yeah, stay tuned.